to give you a little bit of comfort that, that a lot of those guys have already mixed in if you need to go that way? Yeah, a lot, a lot of comfort, you know, because uh, those guys have time on task. They played with the other guys. You know, we've got uh, – some guys can play over there, Yodi, Sorsdell, uh, Skip, you know, so we've got options here. Is that a Joe Burrow situation? What would happen with Joe exactly? Did you see Burrow yesterday? I don't know. He played and sprained his wrist. or I don't know. What is yeah. Joe going to do with him, I guess? Yeah, it was, it, was, it was something that happened in the game the other day. You know, um, he was able to get through it, and then it just, you know, it kind of got irritated after the fact. Uh, yeah, he's got he's got a couple of things going on. Will he be here today? What's that? No, he, he won't be here today. Does he still have a role on this team? Not not today. He doesn't. He's not in the building. So <laughs> how about for this season? I mean, you know, went through that earlier in the year where he wasn't. Yeah, no. I mean, we'll, like I say, he's he he's got a couple of things going on uh, medically, and uh, so I I I don't know. You know, I don't know for sure. I don't know how long term this will be. You've had so many guys elevated off the practice squad. You've talked about the importance of those guys to be ready at all times. Is, is this maybe an opportunity for uh, Bohanna to, to enter that mix? Yeah, we got Broderick. We got Bohanna. Those guys know um, they got to earn their reps, you know. And we say early in the week, man, you, you got to earn it. And uh, you'll get an opportunity. And if you, you prove that you're worthy of it, then we'll put you in the game, you know. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it, those all of those guys know uh, that are on the on the. Uh, that squad that they're going to have an opportunity and and most of those guys are, are ones that have been here for the duration you know there's there's a little turnover that happens but ultimately we think it's important to um, have guys that we trust know our system um, we understand what kind of people they are and uh, and their teammates you know they are, they're around them they see enough of them uh, to where there's there's a trust level once they go and it's time for them to help us defensive performance plenty from, from last week. What, what was the focus in, in practice this week, and did you see what you needed to see out of that, that unit in preparation for their rebound? Yeah, it, it, communication, you know, I, I think that was, that was to me the biggest piece of it. It's, you know, I just go back, it's, it's, it's not about the plays that are, that are being made when they happen, you know. Um, just like last week, that's, uh, we know that's a good offense, it's a good quarterback. It's just you want to know if something comes up, it wasn't because of us, you know, a communication error on a few plays. And so that was a big piece. And then understanding who we're getting ready to play now. You know, this quarterback uh, brings a whole other element to the game uh, that we haven't seen in a while. So uh, that's a big thing. But, you know, our defense has stepped up, played big games. And listen, man, it happens. You find ways to win. Offense had the big hat last week, you know, and found a way to win. This week, there's no telling what's going to happen. I mean, this could be a... This could be a 10 to 6 game, you know, so I expect the defense to show up and play well, just like they have other than a couple of times. And, and the offense has played well. They haven't played well at times either, you know. Special teams has played pretty good. At times they haven't. Uh, but ultimately, we've been able to complement each other. And that's what good teams do, man. You find a way to win. Is uh, three days enough to get Bruce in football shape? Or is he going to need maybe a little bit more time? Yeah, I mean, look, I, I think he's going to need just a little bit more, being totally honest with you. Just, I mean, he's moving good. He, he looks pretty good. You just want to, we want to be smart about this, you know, and, uh, and let's see where he goes. Uh, but certainly I think, you know, just getting in, in football shape is, is important, you know. I don't think you want to throw anybody out there and, and then, you know, you, you set them up for disaster with an injury or something when they're just not quite ready. So I, I don't see him being up this week. You've been very complimentary of the Bears, right, saying they're, they're better than their, their record. A couple of your guys this week said they, uh, they remind them of you guys last year in that way. Like maybe just the ball hasn't bounced that way. I don't know if that comparison makes sense to you, if you said yeah, that too. That... I think that's fair. You know, they're, they're trying to build their program over there. You know, they're kind of going from the ground up. Uh, they've drafted well. They've made uh, some big uh, free agency acquisitions, good players. Um, you know, they got their system in. This is year two, and, 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 but their foundation is built off playing hard. You know, sound football, play hard, finish, uh, and it always has to start there. You know, you, it doesn't matter what you do, what the pieces are. If, if you don't play a certain way, you'll always be inconsistent. So um, they're close, you know, and we can't let them, man, you know, find their footing versus us. We can't do it, you know. But uh, we know this is going to be a test. This is, this is a big test for us. I think because we know your commitment <coughs> to what you're doing here, we, we really haven't asked you, but unofficially, officially, did, did Texas A&M approach you? 
Um, maybe, but you know, that's, uh, but that's all good, you know, and, uh, certainly I know some people there and, uh, I love my school, you know, that's my, you know, alma mater. And, uh, I want to do anything I can to help them, but coach for them. So, and I'll do that. What would you like to, I guess, see them do next, I guess, in, in terms of building that program up? Well, I mean, look, there's, I don't want to get into all that. I certainly the hire is important, you know, uh, and it needs to be somebody that understands the state of Texas, understands the history of Texas A&M, and can communicate with young people and uh, develop them. You know, I think that's that's where it starts, man. Strong leadership, 